Adventures with Lolly and Sweets, bug episode. Hi, Lolly and Sweets. Hi. It's so great to see you guys today. Are you guys ready for a new fun adventure? Yeah. yeah. Well, get ready, because today we're going to learn about bugs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready, let's go. Now, I'm so excited because today we are here at the Museum of Natural History where they have a spider pavilion exhibit where we're going to get a chance to actually come face to face with all kinds of cool spiders and huge spider webs. Wow, just as we walk in, there is a huge Mexican red meat tarantula. Now, these guys are carnivores and it's about to eat that little cricket over there. Poor little guy. As you can see, they are covered in hair, which they use as a defense mechanism. Wow, Lolly and Sweets and boys and girls, there really are spiders everywhere. Now, the spider has two main body parts. It's got its abdomen and a cephalothorax, and that's where its head is. And they also have eight legs. Also, most spiders have eight eyes as well. Wow, guys, here we have a beautiful yellow spider. Now, as you can see, their web has a zigzag shape in their web, which is very distinct for them and their species. And they usually do that to make sure that birds or anything else doesn't fly into their web, ruining all their hard work. Now, their most distinctive feature is their black and yellow markings. Their color is absolutely beautiful, but only the females have this. The males are actually a quarter smaller and are usually brown or reddish color. Now, Lolly and Sweets, I know they look a little scary, but they're completely harmless to humans. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. But if they were to sting you, it only feels like a little bee sting or something, and their poison is not harmless to you. Lolly and Sweets and boys and girls, there's a silver Archiope spider right there. Now, they are so cool looking, and this is a female, because as most spiders are, the female is always larger and more colorful. Now, these spiders are so cool because they look like some futuristic transformer or robot spider because it's got silver hairs covering its body. And it looks like she's got a meal coming because there's some kind of larva caught in her web. Now, as you can see, she's sitting on her web in an X shape. Now, it's believed that she does this to trick other bugs or insects into thinking she's some kind of flower. Now, look out, Lolly and Sweets. There's a giant wood spider right above you. Now, these guys are part of the golden silk spider family. And we can tell, again, that this is a female because of her size. Usually, females are 10 times the size of a male spider. And even though their webs are not so perfect, they are considered one of the strongest silks of any spider, even stronger than steel. But I guess, you know what? It has to be pretty strong to hold up such a large spider. Now, most of these spiders come from Japan. They're actually the largest spiders there. And they are not harmful to humans at all. They're actually afraid of us. Now, believe it or not, these guys are actually quite the housekeepers. They are constantly keeping their web clean of any leaves or debris. Okay, now, Lolly and Sweets and boys and girls, here we have the golden silk spider, or as some people call them, the banana spider, because as you can see, they have this really bright yellow long body. Now, these spiders are just the coolest looking spiders, and their body can grow to over two and a half inches, and that is not including the legs. Their web silk is so strong, fishermen in the Indian Pacific Ocean would make balls with their spider silk, and then after throwing it in the ocean, the balls would unravel and form a net to catch fish. I mean, how cool is that? Now, I will say they are mildly venomous. And by that, I mean, if they bite you, they will cause some redness, blisters, and pain. So we definitely don't want to mess with them. We just want to look at them and admire them and just enjoy their beauty. Wow, look at all these huge egg sacs. I know what you guys are thinking. Which spider laid such huge eggs? Now, these are the eggs of a golden spider. And these will hatch in the spring and hundreds of little spiderlings will balloon off with their little silk strands and they'll disperse throughout floating in the breeze. 
Now on the way out of the super cool pavilion, we got to stop at the gift shop and there was some really cool encased creatures and bugs like this scorpion who can glow in the dark and have been around for 300 million years. This rhinoceros beetle amongst the largest beetle on earth. Praying mantis, which can turn its head 180 degrees. And the centipede, who can regenerate his limbs. Now not only can you find really cool bugs in a museum, you can find them in your very own backyard or on a hike. Now here we have some beautiful ladybugs. Now these guys are both female and male. Crazy, right? And they are known as the guardians of the garden. They protect your veggies and your herbs from pests or creepy crawlies that are gonna eat them up. Now as you can see, some of these have spots and some of these don't. Now if you see one with a white head, that is not a ladybug, but it's an Asian beetle and those are considered pests to the crawlies. So thankfully, these all have black heads and they are just adorable and completely harmless to humans. Now this little cutie is called a pill bug, which is also known as a roly poly. Now these little cuties are known as crustaceans. Now crustacean means that they have a shell like shrimp or lobster, but they are the only crustaceans that can actually spend life on land. And even though they like land, they still like to live in wet or moist location. Now the cool part about these little guys is that they will roll themselves into a ball when they feel threatened. So adorable. Okay, Lolly and Sweets, now here we have a wasp. Now sometimes people confuse these for bees, but they are not bees as they don't have any hair on them, which makes them not as great pollinators as bees. Now a lot of people seem to think that they're aggressive, but they're only aggressive when they are provoked. So let's not bother these guys, okay? Okay, boys and girls and Lolly and Sweets, now this chubby little giant bee is known as a bumblebee. And they are definitely big and fuzzy. And they are great pollinators, but they're not big on making honey because they only make a nest for a year and then they abandon it and then find another nest. Now these guys are known as gentle giants and even though their body size is huge compared to their tiny wings, you would think they would make it impossible for them to fly, but they actually cover quite a bit of ground seeking out nectar and pollen. These are just one of my favorite insects of all time. Now here we have the honeybee. Now these guys are the hardest living creature on this planet. They work non-stop pollinating our earth so we have yummy fruits and veggies to eat. And let's not forget, they also make all the yummy honey that we all love to eat. Now, Lolly and Sweets and boys and girls, they play a very important role in our survival. So let's make sure that we take care of all of our bees. Now, many people are scared of bees, but we have to always remember that we should never bother a bee when it's working hard to pollinate all of our food. Because remember, if we don't bother them, they won't bother us. Okay, Lolly and Sweets, now here we have some red ants. Now, unlike the black ants, these do sting. So you definitely don't want to bother these guys and you want to stay clear of these. Now, ants have superhuman strength. They have the ability to carry 50 times their own body weight. And these guys can actually swim. They can hold their breath in water and can make a lifeboat to survive. These guys are so cool and they are as old as dinosaurs. Okay guys, now I thought it would be super fun to raise some of our own painted lady butterflies. We ordered this super cool insect lore set that came with everything to let you care for your very own butterflies as they undergo metamorphosis. This is the first stage where they're really young, small caterpillars. Now they are known as eating machines because that's all they do to get ready for their next stage of life. They grow up to 1,000 times their original 
body size. Now this cup comes with some food inside that they eat, but in the wild, they eat plants and fruits. Wow, Lolly Sweets, look how big they've gotten. As you can see, they're getting ready for their next stage as they're all migrating to the top of this cup to get ready for their pupa stage. Now they create these thin silk strands with their saliva glands to make the base that will hold up their chrysalis. And now that they have securely fastened themselves, they begin to go upside down and they will begin the pupa stage. Once they're upside down, they remove their top layer of skin beginning from the bottom to make their chrysalis. Once completed, over the next few days, this will harden. And when it's fully hardened, it is safe to move them without harming them to their mesh garden to give them plenty of space once they are ready to emerge, which usually takes about seven to 10 days. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. You can see that they are starting to shake. While moving them, you can see that one of them is shaking pretty fast. Well, they do that if they sense any predators to scare them away. Pretty cool, right? Wow, look guys, they're coming out of their chrysalis. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely beautiful. Now once they have all come out of their chrysalis, you can put some flowers inside so that they have a place to stand on and rest. You can put some fruit and some sugar water for them to eat. And then you can just enjoy them for a few days until it's time to let them go and spread their wings. As you can see, these butterflies are harmless and quite social. <laughs> oh, sweets, I think it likes you. And this one wants to say hi to you, Lolly. Wow, guys, this was such an amazing experience. I definitely want to do that again. Welcome back, Lolly Sweets. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.